what's up guys welcome back to a Safa sub 10 cars guys i'm kind of confused on the next step with these cars as you know mercedes need a proper paint job yo listen to me all of these is just a lot of money sometimes i wonder how some of these guys do it you know it's a lot of money and sometimes i have to sit down and really think i'm like Man, I'm spending a lot of money on cars. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to be an adult and just you know know that I'm spending a lot of money on cars. And there's a time when you have to kind of take a step back. You have to kind of break and you know really you know think about you know what you're doing. You know, and worse if the cars are not making money. You know what I mean? And you're just spending money on cars. You know it's. It's not um, the best financial decision to make, you know, when it comes to certain things. But um, the Mercedes need to paint, it's a lot of money <laughs> to, to repaint this car. And uh, I've been, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot, you know, um, you know, to repaint it. Because if I'm gonna spend so much money to repaint this car, it better be factory. It better look like factory afterwards. You know, so that I'm very I'm very picky when it comes to comes to certain things. My cars have to look a certain way. You know, so I'm very picky when it comes to that. The Mercedes, the 190 e Mercedes that is by Roland, I need to pick that up. Uh, definitely going to pick that up this week because that car is, is pretty much a driving car and the air, the air condition is working fine, perfect now. So I can literally drive that car around every day. It's not old in third gear, it needs a transmission. So until the transmission comes, I can just drive that car. It needs the interior as well, the, the door cards. But you know, those are just minor, minor things. You know, that's not stopping the car from driving. I can drive the car every day. Um, this is the next car that is going to be in Roland Hans. And to be honest, what I find is that I can do so much at home with the cars and I think that's why these cars sit around so long because they are they're at home I mean I love when the cars are at home because I can take proper care of them they're not out there in the sun getting beat up nobody not leaning on them nobody not storing any things on top of them any parts and put parts inside my cars I can get to monitor them a lot better when they're at home but when they are home, they don't really get work done because you know mechanics don't really the mechanics don't really have the time to really leave the shop and spend so much time you know at somebody else's house to work and you know they might be getting other jobs at the shop when they can't take on the jobs because they're not there. So that's why the cars sit around so long. So if I need this car to drive, I better get it out of my garage. And bring it to bring it somewhere where we can we can spend time because when it's home I'm very comfortable you know I, I'm not in a hurry I'm not in no rush because it's like I said I can maintain them it's here I can just look at them you know they are pretty beautiful cars I can just look at them but <laughs> um, at the garage you know and Roland is is very professional so um, this car is gonna be in good hands and yeah I'm gonna put this car on the on the wrecker this week take it to Roland and man this car is going to be uh, let's see. but the, the, this this was sitting out in the sun for for like two years guys and the clear kind of burn out so it the muffle got rub it and clear it again man this feels smooth and nice here man you hear them guys? No bag of filler putty. No, no, no. But yeah, man. I'm gonna take it over by Roland. This color is from a, from a Bentley. I took this color from a Bentley. It's a beautiful car, guys. Beautiful. I just need to get it done. I don't know if the, if the mic is picking up from so far. I need to get it done, guys. Uh, I need it to be driving properly. And when I'm done, I'm definitely going to twin turbo this car for sure. But I just needed to be driving first. I need a running car. So 
we're going to focus on this car next guys the skyline the skyline um i found found cam can you believe i found some cam downstairs in the other garage I have a little rust on them but i'm going to use some vinegar to fix that only if i can find a, something long enough that that i can put i can put the the cam in and um, throw some vinegar let it soak until tomorrow I found the cam so I uh, need to link up with Ziggy um, give him the cam and I have also have one brand new one as well so need to link him and give him the cam to finish that car the NSX I actually have somebody sourcing a factory NSX engine um if i find i'm going to guys i'm going to use uh i'm going to put out all my effort to find an engine at a reasonable price reason it has to be reasonable i'm not spending too much money to buy an engine it has to be very reasonable and if it's reasonable i'm going to buy it but i'm going to hold off and source an engine and when, when I really look at it, guys, to, to buy a K20 engine and to get it to a level, it will work out to the same money that it will cost to buy, buy back an NSX engine. No, it's not cheap, guys. That's why I said it's not cheap, you know, because you have to buy a manifold. You have to buy turbo. You have to, you have to buy the engine. You have to buy um, blowout valve. Um, waste gate and all of these are all of these are a lot of money um, like I said the manifold and the turbo and the engine are the most expensive ones you know um, what else I need I need a lot more things a lot of things clutch I need a proper clutch um, for the and you need transmission it will work out it probably costs more to turbocharge to buy a K20 turbocharge it properly it probably costs more um, than the NSX engine when I, when I think about it yo you guys with K20 to the rich to the rich boy you know where, where I race and I blow up K20 every week every month to the rich to the rich I need some of the money <laughs> all jokes aside guys this car has been sitting in my garage well not in the garage but in my yard since 2008 since 2008, you know, I had this car, this car, repaint, this, everything. Yeah, car moved down here. No, 2010. 2010. I'm lying. I moved into this house 2010. Yeah. Yeah, man. And so the wheels on it, brand new wheels from 2010. They're not new anymore. They're probably, if you drive them, probably too much. Them bust up or whatever. But yeah everything has been on this car since 2010 um repainted everything all the work the works so i'm excited to get this car done guys um let me know what you guys think so this is where i'm at with, with it now guys i need to get this car done for sure it's been sitting there and it's going to cost the less money to get done pretty much only thing i'll be paying for with this car is just labor because it has everything already i don't have to buy any parts I don't have to buy anything. It's just to get it, get it tuned and run through the electricals and stuff like that. So it's just labor I have to pay on that car. So it's the easiest car to get done. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna pick up the Mercedes, drop this off. So stay tuned for that video. I'm doing some work on the the four series, um, repainting the wheels and fresh it and a fresh it up box. So that video will be dropping very soon so see you guys in the next video and let me know what you guys think get this car out of the way that car will go by Roland all the cars guys I'm gonna get them over by Roland that car the Chevelle then the the um the car it again the smart car will, go, will be going over by Roland the projects that's a project everything all the projects I'll just take them over um, to roll on see you guys in the next video remember to like press the like button guys so the channel can grow 
All right, big up.